Hey there folks, welcome back. I'm Ricky Tran with Cutlery and More and today we are going to look at the Rostov Stamped vs. Forged Knives lineup. And we have two knives from each lineup here just to kind of give you guys an overall view of what they are. What we'll do today is we'll talk about the cutting profiles of these knives and talk about some of the technologies that go into actually sharpening them. And then we'll look at the handles and talk about the kind of the pros of why each handles are made the way they are. I'll go down the line from my left to my right, give you guys some of the basic specs of these knives, and then at the end I'll do a comparison and kind of show you guys what to look for if you guys were considering one of these knives. So on my left we have the classic icon with the creme handle. Now this knife here has become a very popular knife in the Vosov lineup. Now one of the reasons why they are becoming so popular is because they are one of the most comfortable knives to hold. Many knife companies are actually now designing their knives handles right after the icon itself. Now the Vosov Icon comes in three options for your handles. You have the Creme, which is the cutlery more exclusive. You have the Black, which is the classic Icon Black. And then you have the Blackwood, which is using a hardwood for its handle. They all utilize the same great high carbon German stainless steel for their blades. And they have the same profile and shape for their handles. The only difference is they have different handle materials. Next we have the Vosov Classic. This is the original Vosov that we all have come to know and love. It is a line that has been in the Vosov lineup since the very beginning. It offers the largest selection of knives available in the Vosov lineup. Now if we look really closely here, the profile is very similar to the Classic Icon. The only major difference is you have a full bolster here versus a bolsterless design or a tapering bolster on the Classic Icon. Now because the full bolster comes down to the very edge of the knife's profile, it adds a level of stiffness that a lot of people appreciate. The next benefit of using a full bolstered knife, especially when you are prepping food ingredients for extended periods of time, the full bolster really gives you a much better grip on your knife, as well as giving your middle finger a buffer between your finger and the actual blade itself. Now coming down to the handle, this uses a polyoxymethylene handle, which is the same material that's found on the Classic Icon Black and the Classic Icon Cram handle right here next to me. Now palm handles are great. They're very robust. They are stain resistant warp resistant and heat resistant. Now coming back to the handle, you can tell that this is a full tang knife by looking at the silver lining right here on the center of the knife all the way up to the front of the handle. Now full tang knives are preferred by many because they give the knives a much more heftier and substantial feel in their hands. You feel like you have more control of your knife and the knife just has a better connection with your hands and the cutting board. Now moving over to the first of the stamped knives, we have the Vosov Gourmet. Now if you look very closely here, the Vostov Gourmet looks very closely and resembles the classic, pretty much in overall profile and handle design. But if you look even closer, the handle is actually a plastic handle versus a polyoxymethylene. Now the blade is stamped even though it has the same overall profile as the classic. It no longer has the full bolster and the knife is much lighter and just less substantial feeling in your hands. The blade is also slightly more flexible. Now Vostov's stamped knives are using the same great high carbon German stainless steel as their forged counterparts. However, they are heat treated to a 56 on the Rockwell scale versus the 58 on the forged knives. Now there is a pretty big difference between a knife that is heat treated to a 56 on the Rockwell scale versus a 58 on the Rockwell scale, which we will get to later in the video. Now coming down to the handle, from where you're sitting, the handles actually look very similar and they are in terms of overall shape but we are now using a plastic handle for the material versus a palm handle. So if you look very closely, the tang actually comes down to the end of the knife, but it doesn't come to the front of the handle. So that makes this knife a little bit less substantial in your hands. It feels a little bit lighter in the handle area, as well as the blade itself is also lighter than a forged blade. Now, even though the Gourmet's handle has the same basic profile and shape as the Classic's handle, it's nowhere near as strong. It doesn't use the palm resin as the base material. And also because it doesn't have the full tang, it doesn't have the same support throughout the handle as the Classic does. Now because this is a stamped knife, you no longer have the bolster. However, Vosov has decided to actually make the handles come higher up on the blade, giving you an effective bolster, kind of a tapering bolster in itself. Overall, the handle is very comfortable. The knife does feel nimble because it is very light. It just doesn't have the same substantial feeling in the blade or in the handle area as you what you would expect or are used to in the Vostov forged knives. However, just to be clear, a stamped knife loses no functionality relative to a forged knife. Now, because this knife doesn't have the forged blade, the palm resin for the handle, as well as the full tang, it does feel lighter in the hands. So in the hands of a professional who are using these knives hours and hours on end, this is actually preferred for some people. So the Gourmet is essentially the Vostov Classic in a more affordable package. 
Now next we have the Vosov Pro. Many of us, myself included, when we hear the word pro or professional, we automatically think it is the best. But I want to encourage you, instead of thinking best or worst, you should think about intended use or intended demographic. The pro line and the gourmet lines are actually intended for people who are in the professional restaurant industry working world where they are cutting food all day long and they require knives that are simply light and affordable and that just simply works in their line of work. So the Vosov Pro was actually made for a professional who works on a food prep line day in and day out. Again, the blade is a stamped steel. He treated it to a 56 on the Rockwell scale. Now the handle on the Pro line is different than what we have seen. The material is called Santoprene. It's very grippy. It gives your chefs and your working professionals a very good grip on the knife when you're cutting things like chicken and just greasy foods and you don't have time to rinse the knife after every use. You also have a very aggressive end cap, which is designed to keep your hands from slipping off of the knife when handling very greasy and oily foods. Now if you look at how my fingers just naturally wrap around the handle and how my thumb falls directly on top of the spine handle area, this is allowing me maximum grip as well as allowing me to apply maximum pressure to whatever ingredients I'm actually cutting. This knife really is designed from the ground up or from tip to tip to be used by a working professional. It offers what the professional would want, something that is affordable, something that just simply works, and something that keeps their hands from slipping when they're working with greasy ingredients. So now the question is, which of these should you consider if you're looking for a new set of knives? All of Vosov's forged knives are being sharpened with a technology called Precision Edge Technology, or PTEC for short. Essentially, every single one of Vosov's forged knives are being custom sharpened. Precision lasers are used to measure and calculate the exact angle at which every single knife is to be sharpened at, and then precision robotic arms actually sharpen the knives using whetstones. And because of this high-tech process using lasers and precision robotic arms to sharpen their knives, Vosov knives sharpen with PTEC and hold their edge longer than traditional methods by about 20%. So in terms of actual usage, we have found that the forged knives can hold a very good edge for between 5 and 7 days. And for the Gourmet and Pro series, we are finding that our professional customers are honing the knives between every day to every other day. Most customers will be better served on your forged knives. You have a tapering bolster on the Icon, you have the full bolster on the Classic, you also have a much better weight distribution for your handle and your blades on the forged knives. And lastly, you have much better edge retention on the forged knives. Coming down to the handles, the forged knives also offer much better quality materials as well as better quality construction and fit and finish. You have the palm handles on the Classic and the Classic Icon. You have a full tang which gives you better control when you're using the knife as well as giving you better weight distribution. And the materials found on the forged knives are always going to be a little bit better. You have a polyoxymethylene versus plastic or you have a hardwood handle such as on the Icon Blackwood. And knives that are designed for use in the professional kitchen typically will always have a rubberized or a plastic handle of some sort. Which is not all bad because it does offer more grip when you're handling greasy foods which is actually a plus. And also because of the nature of stamped blades, partial tangs and plastic handles, professional knives tend to be a little bit lighter which is actually a plus for professional users. So it's not all negatives for knives that are designed to be used in professional kitchens. So while there's nothing wrong with buying a knife that was designed for the professional kitchen to be used in your home, some of us prefer a knife that is both functional and a piece of art. If you would like to learn more about any of the knives that were featured in today's video, please head on over to our website at cutlerymore.com. We'll be glad to answer any questions you may have. And also, we will leave a link in the description to each of these items here so they can go to the exact item when you get to our website. Thank you again for being with us today. We'll catch you in the next video.